What's good, my good people? Lotto P, I'm back with another video. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank all of y'all who's been watching my videos, who's been liking, commenting, subscribing. You know, uh, man, it's much appreciated. It does not go unnoticed. Um, y'all make sure y'all hop in the comment section, you know. Let me know how y'all feel about what I'm saying, what y'all think. Do y'all agree? Do y'all disagree? Does it help y'all? Is it things y'all already knew? Am I teaching y'all some? You know, let me know some. Can you know teach me some? Uh, just give me feedback. You know, it helps a lot. But uh, this video is more so about like staying in your own lane. You know, and not you know trying to jump into the next lane or keep up with that person or you know be like other people or compare yourself to other people. You know. We all have our own time zone. I know at times you might sit and think like, damn, I'm 25 years old. You know, I'm still living with, with moms or, you know, I'm struggling paycheck to paycheck. I don't have all the nice things I want. I don't have the best type of car if I have a car at all. Um, you know, but you might know somebody who you went to school with the same age and they way up here with life. You know, they got a nice car. They got their own place. Probably got a house, you know, a family. You know, they seem happy, you know, which is all good, you know, but you're going to mess yourself up mentally and discourage yourself if you compare yourself to them, you know, or even if some, somebody younger than you, it's like they 20, fresh out of high school, 19, 18, 19, 20, you know, you 25, 30 years old and you feel like they way ahead of you, you know, they got, you know, a nice job or, you know, uh, all the things you feel you should have at your age, but don't do that to yourself because you have your own time zone just as well as they do. Just like it's West Coast, East Coast, you know, um, the East Coast got their time zone. The West Coast has, has our time zone, but us as individual people, we work the same way. You know, what's meant for you is meant for you when it's meant for you. You know, you can't sit there and just compare yourself to the next person. That's their destiny. You know, you on your own journey. You on your own destiny. You on your your own path to success. It's, you know, their success is not yours. You know, just like their failures aren't yours. You know, so if you learn to think more like that, I feel you will get to where you're going. I don't want to say faster because you go get there however and whenever you're meant to get there, but it'll be a better journey. You won't find these times of discouragement because you get on Facebook and you see people you went to high school with you know with all the things you feel you should have right now in your life but you don't and you think like damn what they doing that I'm not doing sometimes it is you're not on your shit you're not handling your business you know but if you out there grinding you out there being positive you out there doing what's right you know and putting in the effort then it's like, okay, it's not what I'm doing wrong. It's just my time has not come yet. But you got to believe that. You can't just say it. You can't just think it. You got to really believe like, you know, my time is coming. Keep grinding. Don't ever give up. Don't ever take your foot off the pedal. Like ever. As soon as you do that, you are possibly prolonging your destiny. You know, you, you are possibly creating your own detours, your own roadblocks, not even knowing it. You know, most people will stop chasing a dream when it's right around the corner. You feel me? Not knowing. One more block, you would have hit that right. You would have been right there. But they stop and they give up when they this close. That's because a lot of people don't have faith. You know, they don't, they don't believe. You know, you got to believe in yourself. You got to believe Everything you want and desire is going to come to you. No matter how far it seems, no matter how big your dream is, you got to have faith and you got to believe in it. If not, then you you pursuing the wrong thing. Find something else you're passionate about that you truly believe in. You know, that's the only way you're going to manifest your desires and, you know, your passions and your dreams and, you know, the, the, the career you want or you know, the type of life you want as far as marriage and kids, if you want that, or if you want to live single and just 
you know, live the bachelor or bachelorette lifestyle, whatever it might be. You got to believe. If you don't believe, it ain't coming true. You know, or if you do, if it do come to you and it's right there in your face, you ain't going to recognize it. Because you don't have no faith in it. You don't believe it. It's not. Like in your head, you got to tell yourself, like, I'm already rich. You know, I'm already great. I'm already successful. You know, those are called affirmations, affirmations, not affir affirmations. That's what they are called. You know, you got to tell yourself these things every day. Look in the mirror, write them down on your phone and read them to yourself. You know, uh, however you can feed yourself that those words, you know, you are great. You are a king. You are a queen. You know, you are, you know, someone's wife, someone's husband. You are a boss. You know, you are this big real estate agent. You are the biggest rapper in the world. You are, you know, the best car detailer. You are the best janitor or the best nurse, whatever it is you want to do. You are the best basketball player, football player, you know, baseball, soccer player, whatever it is you want to do. You know, it goes a long way, believe it or not. But the last thing you want to do is compare yourself to the next person. You know, like you, you steering yourself to failure. You know, and another thing y'all got to stop doing, we got to stop doing, because I've been guilty of it. You know, trying to keep up with the Joneses, trying to have all these nice things. You know, a lot of people who look like they got money ain't got a dime. Ain't got no bank account. They ain't got no savings account, let alone a bank account. Don't know how to manage their money. If they are driving in a, a foreign whip, you know, a 2019, it's probably this close to being repo. Um, they probably always on E, ain't got no gas in their shit. You know, like, what looks good ain't always good. You know, everything that glitters is not gold. So don't be fooled by material things. Like material things don't mean nothing. You know, rich is a mindset. Being broke is a mindset as well. It's all in your head. You know, it's all in your head. But again, you have to believe that. You know? And if you want to live a rich lifestyle, make sure you're really rich, though. Make sure you're really managing your money. You really making your money work for you. You investing it. You know, you have the entrepreneurial or boss mindset. You know, you don't want to be no worker. You don't want to work for nobody for the rest of your life. If you got to do that, do that to get there. Cool. Nothing is wrong with that. You know, grind. It's a stepping stone. You know, if you're working at like a uh, customer service business or wherever you at. You could learn the business, learn how to treat customers or learn business management, you know, learn inventory or whatever it might be. Learn from where you at. And with that little bit of money, you know how to manage it and invest it into what you really want to do. You know, and hustle on the side. You know, you might have to sleep four, five hours a day, maybe three, two hours some days to really get where you're going. But that's called sacrifice. You know, how how much do you want it? You know, it's this uh, it's this story about a, I guess he's an entrepreneur, and he ran into a younger dude, and the younger dude. It's like, hey, man, I look up to you. I want to be as successful as you are. He said, okay, meet me at the beach. You know, 9 a.m. tomorrow or some shit like that. I don't know the exact details, but he like, you know, come meet me at the beach. So the little boy, meet him at the beach. You know, he kind of confused, but, you know, he haven't walked in the water. Little boy like, yeah. You know, I want to be successful. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The older guy, like, okay, all right, come on, walk a little further. You know, walk a little further. So, to make a long story short, the guy had him walk waist high up here. Then the older dude pushed the young dude head in the water, held him under the water. The little boy struggling. He's struggling to breathe. He's struggling to breathe. You know, he's struggling to breathe. He's fighting, he fighting. All he want to do is breathe. All he want to do is breathe. Imagine you being drowned. I've almost drowned before. You know, like, and died. So, I know what the fuck that feel like. But for those who drown, y'all know what I'm talking about. But if you don't, just imagine not being able to breathe. 
At that moment, all you want to do is breathe. You don't care about nothing else but breathing. So he take the head boy, the boy head from under the water. And the boy confused, like, what's going on? So the guy told him, as bad as you want to breathe, that's how bad you want should want success. If not, you're not gonna get it. You know, so that's a good analogy, man. It's something to think with, it's something, it's something to think about, and it's something to live your life by. And it's something to hold on to. You know, like at times I have to remind myself and think like that. Like, man, how bad do I want do I want it? Do I want it as, as bad as I want to breathe? If not, I don't want it bad enough. And I gotta sit back and reevaluate what I'm doing. You know? But you create your own destiny. You know, you have your own time zone. Stop comparing your life, your situation to other people. You know, even if you're doing, for those who are doing good and are where they want to be, don't knock other people because you could be back right there. You feel me? It goes both ways. You don't compare yourself to other people. Don't make people feel bad. You should uplift them people. You know, give them knowledge. You know, put them up. Teach them how to fish. Don't give them fish, but teach them how to fish. You know, teach them how to hustle and grind and become what they want to be. You know, be be an influ influential person influential person you know influence people it's not a, enough people who have the blueprint who are willing to share it for whatever reason but i know for a fact like once i get to where i'm going to be man i'm i'm, I'm throwing that that life jacket you know I'm, I'm i'm letting that ladder down you know i'm throwing some rope you know, I'm holding fishing classes. I'm for sure teaching people how to fish, you know. It's important. Like, it's important. You know, I think it could, you know, minimize a lot of the fucking shit that happened, especially in the hood. Like, people in the hood are starving. You know why? But, but it's no unity. It's nobody uplifting one another. It's nobody, like, pulling each other up. It's the crabs in the barrel, crabs in the bucket mentality, you know. I mean, I know I can't fix it all together, but, you know, for my, the people around me, my section, my family, my friends, like, I, I want to hold, to rewire that whole narrative in our head, and, and it won't be that idea of the crabs in the bucket, crabs in the barrel mentality, you know, but yeah, um, just remember, stay in your own lane, you know, do not hop into somebody else's lane trying to do what they're doing. You know, trying to move as fast as them, like that's not for you. you. Go fucking crash and burn, like that's just it's just not for you. You know, and you know, work at your own pace. Believe in yourself. Stop comparing yourself to other people. You know, you might have to get off social media sometimes because you might see these people looking happy. They got all the things you want, especially these celebrities. Like, man, let that inspire you. If anything, don't let it discourage you. Don't make it feel like you're not doing enough. You're not where you're supposed to be, because right now watching this video you are exactly where you are supposed to be and you have to believe that you know what i mean yeah. yeah but if you like this video give it a thumbs up like comment subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you on the next one man a lot of people